Hello, 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 and welcome to the Better Than Success podcast. And I am your host, Nicole Purvey. And I am so excited to bring this episode to you today. I know I say that every week, but I genuinely feel it. But for real, I'm really excited because I got a good friend of mine on the show. But before we go into that, got a couple of announcements for you guys. Just actually one announcement. I'm not even going to go in like how I normally do. The Entrepreneurs and Leaders Conference. Make sure that you get your tickets I am booking some amazing people that are going to blow your mind. So as of right now, when this podcast is airing, when it when it's first released, we have early bird special tickets available. Please, please, please make sure you take advantage and get your early bird special tickets. They will not be available much longer. You can get them at more than 50% off. The tickets are $750, but you can get them for $2. 97 right now they will not be available much longer so make sure you go to better than success.com forward slash conference and get your ticket it's going to be a two-day event amazing 30 plus speakers a black tie event it's going to be off the hook so make sure you get your tickets so okay i'm going to go in and read my guest bio off and I'm, i can't believe i'm just so excited i know this is going to be like a really dope conversation so my guest is Kat Washington. She's an actress, a model, a serial entrepreneur, and owner of Pure Lounge, BBMC Boutique, BBMC Cosmetics, Avor Couture, and My Level Fitness. Her entrepreneurial career began eight years ago right after her residence on the reality show Bad Girls Club Season 5. She has also appeared on Empire, the TV show Empire, you know, with, uh, what's her name? Taraji. Taraji. Yes, she was on Empire, and I was rooting her on. Yeah, go, Kat! And she enjoys cooking, fitness, and long walks to the bank. Yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Kat. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, of course. You know I've been trying to get you on the show for a while now. But wait a minute. This space is beautiful. Okay, thank you. Oh, girlfriend. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. For those of you, you know, we normally record in the studio, not my studio. We normally record in New Media Studio, which is outside of Philly. This episode, this is our first episode that we're recording in the Better Than Success studio. Congratulations. Thank this you. This is, oh God, girl. <laughs> it's all fancy. I feel all fancy. I love it. <laughs> Thank congrats, you. Congrats. Thank you so much. We're sitting on our amazing lush couches. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So, okay, I just read off your bio. Why don't you tell our audience in your own words a little bit about yourself and what, you, what, is, it, what it is that you do and who you well, are? Well, um, I'm Kay Washington. Hi, guys. Um, like you said, I am a serial entrepreneur. Like, I am nonstop work Monday through Sunday. I don't sleep. <laughs> it's just me and my work. Um, I mean, from the boutique well, it kind of started with uh, just me wanting to have a line for curvy women. Mm -hmm. I'm small. I'm 5'3", mm -hmm. but I got hips. She got I hips got and, boobs yes. and booty, and, you know, <laughs> but I'm small. So there was always just like a hard time for me to find jeans mm -hmm. and different things like that. So I said, you know what? I did the show, mm -hmm. got a little money from the show, mm -hmm. got a little platform from the show, and then my natural business instinct was just to, okay, how can I make some money off of a need that I felt like was already, you know, people needed it. You've had BBMC for a long time. Yeah, when did you start? this is our eight year anniversary. Eight years? Our eight year anniversary for Body by Miss Cat. So yes. you know, I just had a flashback, I didn't even think about this. So way back when, when Justin and I, yes, Justin, not the studio, not the podcast studio owner, Justin, but Justin Carson, yes, he's been on the podcast, my really good friend. I remember yes. when you first launched it, yes. all them years ago. I was friends with, I didn't even know you at the time, yes, and he was working on the site and yeah, all that good stuff. My first site I did myself, it was horrible. Oh my god, <laughs> I think was, I was talking to him then. We were like it converting was it over so bad, and I was like, I need a help. And mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, I was making money, but I didn't put any money back into the business at that point. You so were just I, taking the money and just you know spending it hey man i was trying to make it work so i said okay but back then too i was penny pension i mm -hmm. was paying for fabric and everything and i was just trying to make it work mm -hmm. i met justin justin was like girl let me get you together let mm -hmm. me fix this whole site and he did me and justin went through about three solid sites that i loved mm. and um girl it was all she wrote after that i was like so i can sell online <laughs> and out the <laughs> trunk of my car <laughs> oh it was popping after that i had it yeah we start rolling after that so, okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about 
how did you get on the show? Well, at the time, um, I was just an actress, so I cast it for everything. Mm -hmm. If it was a, a Vaseline commercial I was casting, if it was, um, you know, a hand commercial, if it was a movie, I was literally casting for everything. Mm -hmm. I had a guy call me and was like, hey, would you ever consider doing reality TV? I'm like, I'll do any TV because it's TV. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, point me in the right direction. I tried out. I sent in a video. I went to a casting call. It's popping. Mm. And the crazy part about it is, is that it was in the middle. It was in Philly in the middle of a blizzard. It was a snowstorm. I had my hair in pink curls, Uggs. I looked a hot mess. And everybody in there was like full head to toe glam. But they were all drunk trying to fight. And the casting director was like, come here, let me talk to you for a second. And I was like, what? And she was like, because they over there acting like fools. Really? She was like, I feel like you might actually have something to say. And me and her started talking, and that's just how it happened. Next week, I was going to L.A. Yes. Yep. Okay, so you recorded the show. You were on the show. Okay, life after the show. The show's over. The show's over, and it's like. How did the show change? How did that set you up for your businesses, and how did you take the experiences and take advantage of them? Well, I tell anybody, um, TV is an amazing, amazing, amazing tool to use as a mm -hmm. platform just because you touch so many people and you have no idea how far your reach can go. Mm -hmm. Like TV will set you up to do some things. And mm -hmm. I didn't realize it at first. So I thank God for BGC. Um, I know a lot of business people are like, oh my God, you still claim that? Yes, because it really set me up to do some remarkable things. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I'm of age now and I'm a businesswoman, so you know, I don't really partake in the BS, but it changed my world. Mm -hmm. It did. And when I left, it was so easy for me to start my line mm -hmm. because so many people were already watching. Mm -hmm. And this is when Instagram just started popping. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, I'm on Instagram, you know, I'm using social media, it's free, you know, so you use that as a platform and it just worked. Mm -hmm. And I was so shocked because I'm like, I'm really making money. You know, your first year, you're like, you're living in a homeless, you know, homeless right, shelter girl. Right. You're in the, at the church line trying to get bread. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I'm really making money. And people are really loving my brand. And everybody's so receptive to it. And it just sort of took off from there. Mm, okay. So you, 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 the show was over. And yes. you were like, okay, I want to, did you immediately know that? No, the okay. Next so let me give you, okay. let me tell you how I got the money. Okay. okay? Oh, yes. Ooh. Let me tell you how I got the money to start the business. Okay. Because of course, like I said with Justin, it's not, it's just not cheap, you no. know, to do websites and stuff like that. So I did one night at Onyx. Girl. Really? Yes. Let me get the tea. <laughs> get really? Listen, okay. Onyx so, is a strip club, guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Onyx is a strip club. So, and I, I don't know how to dance. Girl. If you so see I remember you spent your BCG money. You spent the money from Bad Girls Club. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, you got to remember, too. It's not a lot of money. It's not. It's not a lot of money. And then also, like, you're there for 10 weeks. So you still got to pay your rent. You still got to pay your car. No, you still got to mm -hmm, pay your insurance. Mm -hmm, you still have to live. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got health insurance, you got to take care of that. Mm -hmm. So I got my little check. And it's enough to, you know, make a couple pieces. But, I, you know, we're not talking warehouses and right, shipments. Right. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And at the time, I'm hosting parties because I'm fresh off a reality show. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, cool. These guys come to me. They're like, um, we want you to do Onyx. So I'm like, oh, I'll host. No problem. I love Onyx. I host there all the time. No. They're like, no. <laughs> we want to see you on the pole. <laughs> we want to see them cheeks. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my. But mind you, I can't dance. Like that, really? That's like, listen, if you ever take a pole dancing class, you will have a, a newfound respect for no, I No, I did one time. Did you die? Because yeah. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now they're like, no, we want you to get up there. So I'm like, well, wait, what do I wait? Like, do I have to get naked? They're like, no, you can wear whatever you want. Mind you, I'm making bodysuits at the time. Mm -hmm. So I make a stank bodysuit, girl. <laughs> Just stank. <laughs> so I'm talking like the, the bodysuit has like holes everywhere and, and whips and all types of stuff. I get up there. When I tell you I must have danced for like three songs and the money did not stop and I was so tired. Really? <laughs> I was up there out of Your breath. Whole thigh and it was started. horrible. It was horrible. So I'm up there dancing and it's so crazy because the whole city came out. I'm talking like mm. athletes from like DC, Maryland. This is in Philly, mind you. It was crazy. It really turned into like I didn't know that many people wanted to see me naked. So I ended up making like almost fifteen grand at night. What? Yes. I danced for maybe four songs. What? In a bodysuit. I didn't you take could, anything you off. You wouldn't be able to get me off the stage if I, I'm to see 15 they grand. To, oh, listen. Like, I'm going to max this but night out. I didn't out. even know. See, you got to remember. In you didn't know mind, how much it is. You think it's ones. It wasn't oh. ones. Oh, it was not ones. And um, shout out to DJ Boo because he put that party together. <laughs> and nobody could believe that I made that much money. That's I literally crazy. had trash bags. 
so much soda. I was like, when can I do this again? <laughs> when can I do this again? I mean, I never did, but um, that right there was like, okay. You've been having all, you've had all these excuses about starting this business. Right. Now you got trash bags of money literally sitting in, your, in my living room. Me and my girlfriend sat there and counted it. That's crazy. And I could not believe it for the life of me. I'm like, there's no way that's this much money. Like, no. Like, the promoters was like, you owe us. You owe us a check. You <laughs> nope. got to give us something. <laughs> so long story short, um, that money was like seed right. for me to, um, I went and got a warehouse space. Mm -hmm. um, from there, I went to see Justin. Mm -hmm. um, I started to get my website done. And that was just the start of um, Body by Miss Cat. Mm. And then from so there, you were it focused. just... Yeah. Like, that's a beautiful thing. Like, you were focused. Mm -hmm. You went and you had this experience. You didn't let it taint you. You said, listen, I know what the goal is. The goal is to get this, this business up and running. Yes. The goal, the goal is to have my clothing line. I'm not going to get greedy over here. Right. I want my clothing line. This was fun. I appreciate it. Yes. I'm not going to be greedy. Yes. I'm going to take my money and I'm going to keep and I'm going to do what I'm what I'm supposed to do. And flip it. I mean, essentially, it's what right. happened, you know, so. Beca because there's a lot of women that probably would have did that and it would have got stuck. Well, a lot because of them it's fast do. Money. A lot of them do. And honestly, um, I think you just got to have a business mind, period. Because a lot of girls who were on my season, they went back home. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't stick it out. They didn't want to move forward. They were like, oh, well, have fun on the show. And that's a wrap. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of girls who, to this day, they're like, your season was in 2009. You still get booked off your season. That's crazy. Because you just have to stay relevant and just keep moving. You know, you got to keep pushing. Right. And a lot of times people just stop. Right. I think that's like the worst thing you can ever do is stop. And so th and I was going to say that, like, you took you talked about taking the experience being on TV. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I always judge, I mean, not that my judgment of reality stars really matter, is what really you do with here. it. Like, Absolutely. you look on Instagram right. and you see her, like, that's what sells. Yes. She's a marketing genius. She don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> because she knows how to package it up. Yeah. But at the same time, she's really running these businesses on the yes. other side. So that, that's what we talk about every time we talk. Like, how's the, how's the bar going? How's and that's a new business for me because I honestly never, you know, could see myself being the owner of a bar, a restaurant, hookah lounge. And honestly, when I very first started, I was like, can we do this? And, you know, my fiance was like, can we do this? Like, oh, we're going to do this. You <laughs> know what I mean? And just him believing in me enough was to right. really make me push it. Like, you know what? We're not just going to do hookah and food and drinks. We're going to do the best hookah food and drinks we can. You know what I mean? We're going right. to push it and we're going to make it work and we're going to start selling it. And that's what happened. Right. So, all right, let's talk about, I'm probably going to jump around a little bit. Since we're on the subject of the bar. Okay. Let's talk about your experience opening the bar. Like, tell me everything from start to finish. Oh, my goodness. So, there's liquor licenses. There's staff. I'm not even talking about that part. I'm Which talking about? about the decision. Like. Oh, well, okay. And then how did it even come about? Like, okay. all of it. So, it came about from a friend um, who wanted to be a partner. He brought the whole situation to me. And he was like, hey, there's a spot. It's going to come with the liquor license. It's going to come uh, mortgage, everything. When like everything combined in one. This was the beginning of the year. The this beginning was, of 2017? Yes. Okay. This was in January. How did he know that you would be interested in doing something like so this? So me and him had spoke before about like a promoter type situation. Not actually purchasing a, a, <laughs> a brick and mortar, you know. He was saying school. he wants you to be a promoter. Yes. We were talking about promoting certain events. That's Got all it. we were talking about. Because also, let me put something in context. In addition to all this, Cat does a lot of hosting of events. Yes. So people fly you out to other yes. cities yes. and say, hey, Miss Cat is hosting this party. Hence the Come whole out. sex symbol thing. Yes. 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 Because I'm always available to host. <laughs> <laughs> Baby showers, bar business, what you, whatever you need, I'm there. So, yeah. So that's how it all came about. Mm-hmm. We initially talked about promoting um, a, a venue. You know, we didn't know where, but it was just an idea, you know, since, like I said, I always host. So when this situation happened, the, the previous owner had just uh, gotten out of, you know, the situation, mm -hmm. and um, it was open. And he was like, you know, if you're interested in this, I could put you in contact with the owner. But he didn't want to do it. He just... Yeah, no, he, he wanted to do it, but... His money was a little bit funny, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the whole purpose of him coming mm -hmm. for me. So I was like, okay, cool. It's something to think about. It really wasn't high on a priority. It just was something that may possibly work. Mm -hmm. So long story short, we, we talked about it. We discussed it. Um, I actually met with the owner. We talked to him. And he was like, I'd love to have you. He was like, um, 
you know, how how would how do you feel about it? Is it something you think that you could take on? He's like, you'll have to staff the entire place, you know. I'm like, well, this is another mortgage. This is, you know, a full staff. I mean, right now we have a staff of like, I want to say maybe 15 people. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and you got to remember, my my staff is kind of small over at right. BBMC, you know. So I'm like, oh at wow, so I got to pay all these people, and then. Um, you know, you got L and I, you got the liquor license board, you got all these things and I'm just like I don't know. And then I'm hosting too. So, you know, a majority of my month is spent on and off of planes, you know, in this city and that city still hosting. So I'm like, Oh man, I don't know if we can do this and I sat down with the hubs and he was like, What you wanna do? Yeah. And I'm like, I really wanna do it and he was like, If you wanna do it, then I'm all in with you, let's go. And that's just how it happened. And we was like, all right, well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We got a good manager. She holds the fort down for us. Really? Um, awesome staff. So I, I have a good friend who owns a um, owns a restaurant um, bar. Okay. And from my conversations with him, the biggest job as a bar owner mm-hmm. is managing staff HR. Oh, my God. Because the high, it's high turnover. It, it is. But also, too, um, they just have so many problems and issues. And like I said, I don't have a big staff at BBMC. Right. So I'm not used to that, the all day, every day. And, these, and most of them are women. So you know what comes with that. You know, their kids and everything. And it's just like, oh, my goodness gracious. But I will say we have a remarkable staff and they make it work. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I, have, I really had my reservations. It was to the point where I was like, okay. Maybe we can deal deal with somebody that can deal with the manager, and I don't have to deal with it at all. <laughs> so you put an intermediary, intermediary between yes. the enemy, intermediary. So I don't even have to deal with it. But I mean, it's a cash business, and it requires you to be there a lot. So it does take up a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. Really, I really would. So now that you're knee deep in it, you like? I love it. Really, I absolutely love it. Like I said, I really do wish I had a little bit more time. But I mean, it is what it is. That's crazy. And, and it runs itself. It's a beautiful. I, I love it. Really? I'm not gonna lie. I okay. Really, what do you really What it. do you love most about it? I kind of just like embrace the. Fa- it's like a little family. Like you know, it's your spot, and you have your you know you have your staff, but we all kind of work together for the mm-hmm. greater good. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of nice when it's Halloween or it's Christmas, and then you walk in and they everybody's put up little decorations because they I wanted know. to be festive. You, see our little tree over there? you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like okay. Right. I don't always have to, you know, take on all the burden because they really love it. They look at it as a family and that's just, you know, that's how we rock. Right. right we take right. care of each other around there. Right. You know, so pure, pure Leon's just giving me like this little sense of camaraderie. I'm so used to working alone. I'm yeah. not really used to big teams. So now that I have this big team, it's like, oh, that's the next level. You know that, right? The next dimension, I should say. It is. It is. Managing a team like that was a huge like a huge jump for me from me being alone in the house mm-hmm. working on websites by myself. Right. And then I hire somebody and then immediately after that I had to hire and then it's like, oh snap. Now your job goes from actually doing the work mm-hmm. to managing people. Yes. Like yes. it's a whole Which different is job. Hard. Right. It's way it's way harder. Yes. It's a yes. whole different job. Your whole job and I always say this, I think that the level in which you can succeed is directly related to how quickly you can change. Yes. How quick how quickly can you how quickly you can you adjust. change your day to day? Yeah. How quickly can you adjust? Yeah. Because absolutely. although you have a clothing line and okay, I have a clothing line and it's just me, that day to day looks totally different than you plus four people. Yes. Absolutely. And you have to be adept you have to be willing, you have to be malleable, you have to be flexible. Yep, you absolutely have to. And a lot of times people don't they don't want to change. They don't. And I think that was probably especially with BBMC when I went from my small little warehouse space to where all I had to do was pack and ship and that's all we did. Every single day pack and ship, pack and ship, pack and ship and then we had a warehouse on the other side where they were so. Mm-hmm. But it was easy. You get the orders, you place the orders, you pack them up and you ship them and that was it. So now having an actual brick and mortar and it's like no more just pack and ship and mind you like at my cut and sew factory like they had became family so they used to see me all day every day now i'm at the store mm-hmm. you know what i mean now i got to make sure the store is running properly mm-hmm. it's just it's you have to be able to change and at first even when i started thinking about actually getting the storefront i was like oh man 
You know, I'm used to leaving and going whenever I'm ready. Now it's like, okay, you got to check in on Tia today because she says she has a doctor's appointment at 2 o'clock. So make sure that she left out on time. Make sure she has somebody cover her shift. Make sure that they're back on time. It's just, it, it is harder. Yeah. I agree. It's harder. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. It is. Because when it was me, it was, I got this. Right. You know? Exactly. Ladies sew on the other side. Oh, don't worry. I'll pack them up, ship them up. Everything's done by 12 noon. Now? <laughs> You don't know when your day going to yeah, end. I don't know when the day's going to end now. <laughs> you know, you never know. Somebody might pop up at the bar. You may have a situation. Um, orders might not have went out because we drop ship now. You know, the, the packages come. So someone else handles the shipping? Yes. Really? Yeah, well, we, we have a, we have a, um, we ship from Pakistan now. So we went from having, really? yeah, we went from having a warehouse space on Germantown Ave mm-hmm. to now we drop ship everything. So via Pakistan So literally when China, you order something on bbmcboutique.com, that's the website, right? Yes. bbmcboutique.com. Yes. Yeah, I remember it. Yep. Well, bodybymisscat.com. <laughs> bodybymisscat.com, yes. sorry. Yes. Bodybymisscat.com. When you order, it's coming from Pakistan. Yes. Really? Only way it's not as if it's a custom order because we do do custom pieces as well. So if you order, well, most custom orders they pick up at the store. So yeah, yep, Pakistan or China. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. And I didn't we know also that. do that too. So uh, for my fellow serial entrepreneurs um, who are into fashion, hair, um, fabrics, anything like that, we do a trip to China every year. Mm. Well, we do two trips. We call it Trapping in China. Mm-hmm. Me and Blair do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blair from Pink Elephant. And um, we literally go to China so much that we kind of decided to, you know, show people the ropes, you know. So you want to come over here and get it for the low? We'll show you how to get it for the low. I might have to come just to come. You I don't come. I'm, I don't want to shop. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, well, I'm see, out of the like retail business. I know you like to eat. <laughs> so we... Hong Kong is better for food. That's where I want to go to Hong Kong. The food in China is. That's where I want to go. Well, we eat here. That's not Chinese food. Yeah, I know. Yes. I know. So I, I've heard my dad lived uh, overseas and goes to China all the time. He always talks about, like, on one of his first trips, yes. he was like, can I get some, uh, what's the name of that uh, dish? Darn it, I can't General remember. General Sills or something like that? Yeah, and it was like, what? <laughs> can I get a beef and broccoli? And I'm like, like, a what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you can get some steamed fish. <laughs> right. And some pigeon peas. That's what you can get. Right, right, right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we do that. Uh, our next trip is coming up in March. Mm-hmm. So if you want to come, you should come. Mm. China. I love China. I might actually do that. I, abs- I, w- I really want to open up a Medi Spa. Um, then I really don't know how I'm going to sleep. But that's my main reason. Like, for sourcing, China is it. Wait a minute. You want to open up a Medi Spa? Yeah. Here? Yeah. What's a Medi Spa? Like, like um, you ever had, like, microdermabrasion? Uh, or, um, you know, like, um, like spa services, but, like, Botox and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, laser laser hair removal, stuff like that. I really want to open up a Medi Spa, and they have all the equipment over there. Really? Yes, for the low. I think you should do that. I want to. You should. I don't know if the funds you will. <laughs> will allow no, me you to will. do it right now. No, but. You will. I would love Listen, to. Listen, when I speak prophecies on this show, they come true. Oh, shucks. <laughs> put, it in, put it in the atmosphere. Yes. I just need you to receive it. Yes. Yes. It's re- received. It's been received. Yes. Okay. So, all right. Let me, tell me about, um, okay, when you first opened up the bar, mm-hmm. that when you, he first came to you was January. When, yes. when, when did you actually open? March. 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 So, two months. Yes. Okay, what happened in those two months? Oh, man. So in those two months, we got together with some contractors, Mm -hmm. and we decided uh, what we wanted the place to look like. Okay. Yeah, like we, um, you know, we sorted all the finances out. Once that was done, it was like, okay, here's the fun part. Let's start knocking. I mean, don't get me wrong. Other than, like, the sleepless nights and making sure that the contractors do what they're supposed to do, everything kind of went fairly smooth i mean our first couple weeks we're like okay anybody gonna come in here hey how y'all doing <laughs> <We're> open. <laughs> and then after like week three it was like oh we're open you know like okay you know from before when we first oh like our first couple days i remember we were playing from the speaker on the phone mm-hmm. now it's like get the djs we got money for djs yeah. now, oh, you know i love it it was everything and then um you know, like I said, with social media, it's free. You know, so we pump everything on social media. Mm-hmm. We start going crazy with the food, and we posting food pictures, and we got the managers setting up events, and then we have an event every day when before it was nothing. We have a, a, a menu special every day before it was nothing. You know, we got hookah girls now, we got bottle service girls, and now it's to the point where 
every night is something special. You know, there's like a Wednesday is the Women Crush Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You know, we have something on Friday. Sunday is NFL Sundays. You know, it's it really has come a long way in a very short time, and mm -hmm. I am so thankful. And I don't even know what I would do if. Whew, if it wasn't working, <laughs> I'll be on your couch. <laughs> That's all right. We got two couches. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, okay. Why don't you leave everybody with, what do you think? I mean, everything seemed to have gone. I mean, obviously, we have our divots and our peaks and our valleys. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think is your biggest, I guess, lesson or tip or what is your biggest trick that has allowed you to be able to manifest some of these things um immediate almost immediately i would probably say just never stop okay like i just don't stop like and i think that sometimes when you stop or even if you take a minute a minute to second guess yourself i think that's when all the negative the negative energy and the doubts kind of pop into your mind and then that's when you start to second guess yourself and then it's like okay maybe I shouldn't do this or maybe I should wait to do this I always say just do it like I'm talking just like just pushing. jump in there's never going to be a right time if you keep waiting if you keep saying okay well when I get my income tax then I'm gonna start this business no just do it like with this business I really really didn't take time to talk myself out of it I was like, I'm going to do it. And once I started doing it, I had no choice but to do it because it was like my money's invested, my time is invested. I got all these people who depend on me now. Just do it. Like, don't ever second guess yourself. And even if it doesn't work, because I've had many businesses that didn't work. Mm -hmm. so I had cleaning companies, all types of stuff that failed. You know what I mean? Like, the phone was not ringing. But you just keep going. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you just keep pushing forward, you'll always find yourself in a good position you mm -hmm. know what I mean you'll always land on your feet because you just keep going mm -hmm. and I think ev even since BGC um I never stopped like I never thought that after BGC I would end up on Empire but you just keep going you know because mm -hmm. I mean you, you we get in our own brains a lot like we kind of get stuck we and do. then we start feeling like well maybe I can't do it you know like well maybe this is it for me like maybe I was just supposed to come do a little reality tv show and that was it oh no 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 you know, like, so I think if you just keep pushing and you never stop, no matter what, like, that's, that's the best thing I could tell somebody. Mm, I love that. Never stop. I love that. Child. I love that. Ever. I love that because <laughs> I'm, I'm all too familiar myself with when those negative thoughts I've over time, it took me a long time to learn how to like curtail them, mm -hmm. but you don't realize like you really have to actively just be like, whatever yeah no. people will talk you out of it too yeah oh you can't do that oh you think you can run a bar we just talked about this in the office oh, you think today. you could be a woman running a, a, a seven-figure business what? that's what you think huh and that's how they'll talk to you yeah and if you believe them like you really can psych yourself out to be like i can't do it that's he's true. right she's right i can't do it and the next thing you know you're like ha shit popping what's up yes <laughs> i'm trying to tell you you have to just really keep pushing and never ever ever let anybody talk you out of it because they will they will child they will even if it's not direct they'll just give you subtle oh the subliminals yeah oh my goodness all day every day yeah or you'll you ever gave somebody an idea just something that you were thinking about this happens to me all the time i'm like yo i was thinking that this would be a real dope idea for a business and they'd be like what and next thing you know they're like they doing it yes really yeah, what <laughs> Hold up, sis. Now, yeah, it happens. It mm. happens. The same people who told you you couldn't, the same people who told you it was a bad idea, now it's their idea. Mm -hmm. It happens. You just got to do it. You just got to keep pushing just forward pushing. and just keep on going and just keep telling yourself that this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... That was an awesome tip. <laughs> that was an awesome interview. I knew that it was going to be an awesome interview. I'm Thank so you so I'm much. I'm so glad you had me. Okay, I'm so glad that you came, finally. So Kat is going to be, I, I didn't want to reveal this to you guys, but she is going to be speaking at our Entrepreneurs and Leaders Conference. Yes. <laughs> Yay, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm so excited. We also got some other stuff that we're cooking up. Okay. We're even, well, right. I got a testimony, Henry. So <laughs> all the things not to do, I'll be like, I did that. Yeah. So <laughs> I've done all the things you should not do. Yes. So yes. I, can point, I can definitely point in the yes. right direction. So make sure that you get your tickets, your early bird tickets. So now you guys know a few people that are going to be there. Yes. 
make sure you get your early bird tickets. I promise you, you will be so thankful that you did. Betterthansuccess.com forward slash conference. Get your early bird tickets. Two days, a black tie event, and so much, so much more. 30 speakers is going to be crazy. 500 other entrepreneurs that you can network with and you can meet with and you can do business with and you can exchange ideas with. Make sure you get your tickets. Betterthansuccess.com forward slash conference. So, I know it's gonna be crazy I just can't wait to learn something it's gonna be crazy yes I can't (laughs) wait I'm excited um I always find that when you're in the company of just other entrepreneurs and just other people doing their thing like it's always like I'm like a little sponge Mm -hmm. like I want to talk to everybody and just you know get get some game game Mm -hmm. is free when you're in the company of bosses facts yeah so it's always a, a good time a good energy um just to come absorb a little game from everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm good at one that. of the things that I, I have learned, I'm not going to go into a whole new thing, but one of the things that I have learned with, I meet so many new entrepreneurs and new real estate investors every week with just with the nature of our business. Right. The thing that people struggle with when they're first starting is they don't, some people realize and some people don't is their circle. Yes. Right. And not saying that you got to get rid of your circle, but when you, you start, get rid of your circle. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have to. But when that you, depends. it does depend. That's true. That depends. But you also need to have another circle. When you start deciding you want to go to a new dimension, yes. you want to go to a new level. Yes. You need to have another circle that you can talk to about those things. So like before, when you had a a, a, a job or I don't want to say having a job because there's nothing wrong with that. But when you were doing something that wasn't what this next level is, yes. you had people that accommodated that. Yes. But now that you need to go to the next level, it's going to take all of your energy and all of your focus to really level up. You're going to need keep to keep people around you Facts. that can help you with that. I always say I like to be the brokest person in the in the building. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I want to be the brokest person in here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And some people have it in their mind where they're like, I don't want to be around people unless I have more than them. No. I want to be the brokest one. That's a problem. I want them to look at me and be like, mm. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I want that game. That's the game I want right there. You know what I mean? I want, I want to be the brokest person in the room so that I can get to that level. Right. You know, when, when you're the richest person in the room, if you're not um, <laughs> Bill Gates, there's a problem. Right. You know what I mean? So I always say you got to work it. Right. You got to work it. Make sure you it. keep your circle tight. I will be working it, honey. That yeah. night. <laughs> Put my good clothes on. Plus, we got some things that we can't talk about that we, we cooking up, that we no, working we on. No, we can't talk about it. No, we can't talk about it. We want to talk about it. Come. Yes. It's soon come. Yes. It's coming? Yeah, it's coming. Okay. Yeah, so we can let them receive it. We want to throw it in the air (laughs) and let them receive it. Yes, so we have a tour coming up. Yes, yes, we're gonna do a. Did we name it yet? We did. See, that's how early it is. But I didn't want to tell you. But are we locking it? Are we locking that that name? I liked it too. Okay, beauty and business. I loved it. Beauty and business tour. We fine. It. Yes. I could be the nerdy one. She's got got (laughs) everything going on. I absolutely loved it. But no, I think um. We got a lot to offer. We do. You know what For I mean? sure. Yeah. We got a lot to offer. And um, trust me, you guys will not be disappointed. No. You will not be disappointed. No. So we, I'm going to be announcing that soon coming yes. up, guys. All the yes. details yes. about yes. that. So if you're listening to the podcast, you know I like to give you guys all my behind the scenes secrets before they even happen. So you should definitely feel blessed because I'm not even going to put that out to social media. Probably half the staff don't even know about that yet. <laughs> well, now they do. Now they do. <laughs> now they do. So, okay, let's tell everybody where they can find you, get all of some amazing products and dresses and So everything. where to start? Okay, so uh, ladies and gents, because uh, we sell men's clothes as well, mm-hmm. uh, BBMC Boutique is in the Fox Chase area of the city. It's 340 Loney Street, L-O-N-E-Y. In Philly. In Philly, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also shop Body by Miss Cat at bodybymisscat.com. Our men's line is Shop Avore, Shop A-V-O-I-R, Couture. Um Awesome men's line. We also have a fitness line, which is mylevelfitness.com. Uh, you can also shop there. I have a cosmetic brand, uh, BBMC Cosmetics. Uh, you can always check me out on uh, social media. I'm always there. Miss um, Cat215, MSCAT215. And um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And uh, Pure Lounge. Pure Lounge Philly is our. Um, is our Instagram. Check us out. You mm-hmm. know, our hashtag, uh, Pure Lounge Philly. And uh, we're right on Germantown and Hunting Park. Yes. And uh, it's an amazing place. Can't beat it. 
food's great, drinks are better. Awesome, awesome bartenders, and they so fine. Come on down and have a drink with a fine bartender. <laughs> get some good food and smoke some hookah. And I'm normally in there chilling in my little section in the corner somewhere doing homework. Um, and that's about it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you Kat. for having me. Love you, love you, love you. Yes. So, okay, guys, um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you are on iTunes, betterthansuccess.com forward slash iTunes, subscribe, give us a five-star rating, and write us an amazing review. And the same thing for Google Play, betterthansuccess.com forward slash Google. Subscribe, five-star rating, and write an amazing review. And until next time, you guys, happy entrepreneuring.